All right. Monifa, how you doing? I'm great, Donnell. It's good to see you. So I am here with Monifa Keynes, the CEO and founder of Queen of Spades Natural Hair Accessories. So tell us a little bit about you. Well, first, thank you for having me today. I'm excited to talk to everyone and tell them about my company. But I'll tell you about myself. I'm an Air Force veteran. I served um, eight and a half wonderful years as a registered nurse. After that, I lived a civilian life. I went into um, work in logistics, nonprofit, and in the end, corporate America. Now, I'll tell you that in corporate America, you have to have a certain look that you would be deemed as professional. So every month I would put a chemical that is a relaxer that has lye. And I'll tell you how dangerous lye is. Lye is also used to decompose bodies. Wow. It is that strong of a chemical. But to, hear, to make my hair bone straight so I can look professional, I would endure the burn, the pain, missing hair, um, burns in my scalp so that I can look professional and assimilate. One day, I was just over it. I was over trying to look like everybody else and change my hair and continue to get burns and continue to lose my hair. So there was a movement that was coming along and it was called going natural, mm. which means that no more am I going to put these, this chemical in my hair. I'm going to grow the hair that, that comes out of my head and I joined that movement. Now, with joining that movement, it also meant relearning my hair. I did not see my natural hair for decades. So I had to relearn the texture, what it takes to style it, how to style it, products, everything. But that was a journey in itself. Then as my hair was growing out to my natural hair, I decided to get braids. Uh, I went to work. I had a manager that said, oh, those look beautiful. You look great. And I'm like, thank you. And it was nice. I had beautiful braids in a bun. Then I took my braids out a few weeks after that, had my hair slicked back in a bun. And he looked at me um, one day when I walked in and he said, good, now you look professional. Oh. And it just made me feel that the hair that I have or the natural of braids didn't look professional to him, mm -hmm. even though he told me it looked beautiful. I decided to go to the store to look for some accessories so I can accentuate my natural hair, do more things with it. And I couldn't find anything, anything that would hold the texture that would beautify my hair. So I started making my own. I started buying some products that were not made for my hair and rigging it that it could work for my hair. I started making head wraps, headbands, everything. And people would compliment me on what I was wearing for in my natural hair. Friends asked me to make things for them. And I definitely did. Then I said, I love doing this. It's cathartic for me. I love helping people realize that their natural hair is beautiful. So I decided to turn my passion into a business. And my mission is just one sentence. It's to change the narrative of what's beautiful. So that's what I'm working on now. I want people to wear Queen of Spades natural hair accessories. And when they walk in a room, they're like, I am here. That and is so awesome. that's what I'm doing. Thank you so much. I love, mm -hmm. I love working with people and showing them how to accentuate their natu natural hair. That's awesome. I mean, so the beauty of that, and I, and I, and I say beauty because of what you do, but now you turned your passion mm -hmm. into a business. Yes, a business that I love to wake up every morning and I'm inspired to create and help more people. So what inspired you to um, get your business like started now? Well, um, a few things. I went into a program called Dog Tag and it's a wonderful program. It's a living business school. And um, it helps disabled veterans. If they want to start a business or move on to the next chapter in their life, they really coach you along. 
But then I went to an, an um, military influencer conference and I met a wonderful woman, wonderful woman, um, Natasha Hines, who I just met just standing around. And she has also, we're in the same genre. She has a hat. She has beautiful hats that are silk lined. And we were just talking about the healthcare of a um, woman of color. Mm -hmm. And she introduced me to so many wonderful vets that have businesses, um, yourself, all the family we have in Veterans Pro America and Veterans Pro Virginia, which meant that um, it was like a family. It's a village. And I've seen that everybody has the same goal. We want to watch each other win and we support each other. There was a pop-up late last year in um, 2019. And I just seen how all the entrepreneurs were like family and helping each other. And I said, man, everybody is doing this and I'm going to do it too. There's no way I can't be involved in this cluster of people, great people that are doing things and having this movement that they want other veteran entrepreneurs to, to grow their business and be successful and that the resources are here within each and every person in the group. And I said, I'm going to start. So shortly after that, I went home and I went online and got my business license, EIN. And I said, let's go. Cause I'm going to be a part of this group and I'm going to grow with them. And they're helping me grow immensely. So I have to thank you, Donnell, also, personal plug, for having this group of people that just support each other and we just want to see each other win. And that's all we do, keep pulling each other up to another level. When I was in the military, the uh, our tagline used to be, all we do is win, 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 no matter yes, what. Yes, 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 that's right. <laughs> That's right. And add the music behind it. Right. <laughs> and and, and it is all we do is win. It's not yeah. it's not an individual, it's not singular. It's not. It's, it's, not. It, it's everybody. And, and so everybody plays a role in, in, in each other's goal. And so no, yeah. thank you for being a part of the community and sharing your story with us. How does my audience get in touch with you and uh, take advantage of the the products that you have to offer? Oh, great. Well, if they go on my Facebook right now, it's called Queen of Spades Natural Hair Accessories. You can see what I'm doing. There'll be a link to a store. And then you can click on that and see all the different designs I have. There's a lot more coming. I'm even doing tutorials. Mm. Um, I'm even making videos on tutorials on different hair wraps, how to wrap your hair differently in different styles. And I'm even going to have some live tutorials well, I'll invite the customers and the people in and you can ask me questions and we can do step by step together. So I'm really excited about that. So I have a Facebook Queen of Spades Natural Hair Accessories. If you go on that, you'll find all the information. I'll have a website coming out on April 1st and um, look out for that because that is going to be spectacular. That's awesome. Amazing. I like the word that you use, spectacular. It is. It is. It's coming. Because with my website, it's going to have a lot more things to come. Um, I am not only just doing hair wraps. Mm -hmm. I'm doing hair combs that are, the teeth are wider, so they don't get caught in natural hair. But they will have the vibrancy of my designs from my hair wraps. Also, my hair pins will be an inch or an inch and a half wide. So, and they will be able to hold the natural texture of the hair. And again, it will still have the designs of my hair wraps on them. I'm also doing hats that'll be silk lined on the inside and ventilated so the hair doesn't get caught. I have an athletic line also that you can go to the gym and it catches the perspiration. I am also doing matching bags for um, the hair wraps. So you can... Um, put on a hair wrap or headband, have a clutch, have a totes, and walk out the door and just be that queen walking around. The queen of spades, natural hair accessories. Yes. Uh, is there anything else that you have on the horizon that, that, that we need to be looking out for? Yes. Please look out for my website, of course. I'll be adding more things. And I want everybody to know 
that each wave of designs, um, each design I name after a friend, and it has a personal story that when I do tutorials or videos, I will tell you why I named it that and what the person represented to me. So you'll remember that story. And when you wear that head wrap, you'll understand why I called it that and why you should hold your head up even higher. Mm. Um, yes. <laughs> I am also focusing on getting out in the community um, with my business. I'm going to have an arm of my business that will go to hospitals or centers to help people that have chemical burns, alopecia, cancer. So I can also teach them um, how to do their hair wraps different ways, but also it will be donated. So, so look out for those videos too. Not only a product, but a way to help people in need. Definitely. I think um, what, whatever I do, the core of me is always helping. What a blessing. And it's so, I'm so blessed to have you on here today. And we're blessed to also have you as a vendor yes. um, at our Veteran Business Pop-Up. Yes. We just updated the date. Um, it was postponed uh, because of what's going on right now. Yes. But our new date is May 30th. Come out and visit uh, at the Dale City Volunteer Fire Department on May 30th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. where we're going to have vendors, uh, amazing vendors with amazing stories that have products with stories. You just heard it here. She says she has a product with a story. Um, so come out and check us out. Thank I want you so everybody much. to come out um, yeah. to the pop-up and know that the veterans and the military spouses each have a story. And you can ask us our story on how we started this. And just with what's going on in the world, um, I just want you to also know that if you get a hair wrap, it not only makes you beautiful, but all, it also protects your hair from what's going on outside. So just wow. think about it. You can get it, you can get justice for your hair twofold. Thank you so much, Monifa. Thank you for we having me. Yeah, we appreciate your time and sharing your story. You have a blessed day. You too. Bye.